What is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and on today's video we're gonna be discussing why the 3060 Ti might be one of the best value per performance video cards for 2020. So with four days before the said release of the 3060 Ti on the market, I am really evaluating and thinking that this might be one of the best value per performance video cards that are released for 2020. But before we delve into that, let's first look at the specifications that are leaked on this website. By the way, I'll be putting all the links of all my references for this video down on the description of this video. So. Without further ado, here are the specifications. The launch date is at December 2nd, 2020 with a price of 400 US dollars. The default CUDA course is at 4864 and the base clock will be at 1410 with its boost being at 1665. The memory clock is at 1750 and the effective memory clock will be at 14,000 megabits per second. The memory size is at 8 GB with the memory type of GDDR6 using a bus width of 256 bit at a bandwidth of 448 gigabits per second. Now, the power draw of the card is at 200 watts, making it 20 watts less than the 3070. Now, if you ask me, the 3070 in my opinion is one of the best price to performance performing GPU card out there in the market as of filming this video provided that it is sold at a correct price. Now, with this card being only 25% less than the 3070, the tests show that this card also performs at around 10 to 15% less in terms of performance. Now, 10 to 15 or let's say 15% less in performance compared to 25% increase in price of the 20 of the 3070 means that this can really go head to head with that in terms of the uh, low to mid end builds. I will really lean towards the 3060 Ti as the performance will only be at around 10 to 15% less with the price of it having a hundred bucks less. Okay, so that really counts as much if you are building a budgeted CPU. Not only that, based on the tests on the website, the 2080 Super performed less than the 3060 Ti in the initial tests. Now, if you may recall, the 2080 Super retailed for about $700 when it was first released. The MSRP was around $700 US dollars. So having a $400 that can trump the performance of a 20 Super is really a good time for us now, gamers, especially enthusiasts right now. As building a card with that performance really has shouts value for what your money can give you. Now, as per AMD, I don't know what AMD has up its sleeve with this market segment, but I know that the 6700 and the 6700 XT is poised to be released on January or early next year. The problem with that is the price of that would be at around 400 to 450 US dollars. I guess that they will need to adjust if the 3060 Ti is performing as good as it is on paper. Now, with that being said, I hope you like our content for this video. And speaking of content, our next project, this is just a sneak peek on our next project. What we have here at my back is actually a Corsair 760T. Now, you might ask me, why are you investing or why did you buy a five-year-old case? So this is actually a full tower case that will suffice some of my upgrades or the components that I will be buying for my current build but I still don't know if I'm gonna be transferring the contents of my current build to this one or I'm just gonna build a new system with it and if I'm gonna do of course I want to do water cooling with it as that is the purpose why I bought a larger case I'm also thinking it to have like a theme or a tribute but I'm not really still sure because the drive base are old, there is no PSU shroud. I think I'm gonna be modding the case first before planning a build on this case. But certainly, stay tuned for more updates on that project. That is it for this video. I hope you subscribe to our channel if you like this content of ours. And see you on the next video.